Hello, all my crafty friends. I'm here again to share embellishments on the 11th, hosted by Deb Hauk of Deb Hauk's Crafty Cottage. And today I'm going to be using my Daisy Punch from Stampin' Up. This is the older one. I believe they have a, a dual one now because there's a newer set out. But I have this one, and punches are great for making ephemera. And I also have this Painted Blooms button set. And this is from uh, old Craftiola kit. And so I thought I'd use these for the centers. And then I picked a bunch of different papers. This is kind of a purpley gray. And we have pink with words, dark pink with words, and kind of a mid pink with words. And then I have just a leftover piece of purple cardstock. And these right here were all part of a D-stash from Crazy Paper Chick. I have a bunch of paper pads also that I will highlight in my Smash That Small Paper Pad set. So let's get started. Okay. Let's do the cardstock first, the purple. I wanted to pick colors that obviously went with the buttons. I'm going to be <laughs> offsetting and layering these. And so I think that'll look really pretty. I'm not stamping these first. You, you can certainly do that. I'm just punching, making embellishments. I think that's going to be it for that. So, toss in the trash. All right. Let me go ahead and punch out everything first. We'll do three of each. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good because this getting caught and the, the paper getting caught is just ridiculous. Okay, now we can do two, offset it, and that would look cute. But we can also do three and kind of and put them all. See, so you get lots and lots. And then I'll go ahead and glue them together. And then I'll curl them and we'll put the button in the middle. Place them out in between each other. Okay, see how it looks. You can play with it a little bit to try to get it off center more. Okay, let's see what color we want here. Claire, we've got 
that. We've got gray. It's a little blah though. I don't want to. I don't want to be that blah. Let's go with the. No, that's kind of pink. Yeah, let's go with that one. It's not round, but it's still cute. Okay, there's one. Do the light pink. And let's do the same thing. Let's use all four. No, three. I mean, three. We can save the fourth one for another time. I think having having words on it makes it kind of cute too. I think I'll do the polka dots on the other one because I think that's kind of cute. Am I saying cute a lot? Yep. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's use this one. The light pink. Square. Okay, there's another flower. Now let's do the polka dots. I think that's interesting. Okay, now let's see what color we want. Nope, we don't want purple. Do we? That's definitely bright pink. Hmm. Yep. There we go. That'll work. Just set it aside to dry. The words on this one. Okay. And I believe this one will be perfect. Here's our solid color purple. Last but not least. Just 
just angle them off just a little bit and they'll make a really full flower. And there we go. And there are, there are five flower embellishments ready to go on our spring cards. So thank you so much for joining me. It's been fun. And thank you, Deb Houck, for hosting this collaboration. And I will put everybody else that's doing this down in the description box. Please feel free to follow along. Until next time, bye-bye.